The novel coronavirus outbreak in China has led to a slowdown in economic activities in the country. This, in turn, is expected to affect the country's power and renewable sector, which is now the largest in the world. In our base case outlook, we expect most economic activities to return to normal as we head into the second quarter. With some rebound and catch up in industrial production in the coming months, we actually expect the overall 2020 GDP growth to not be too affected by the virus. And that also means that the power sector impact will be relatively moderate, especially viewed from a full year perspective. But many people are asking, what if the situation on the virus does not improve as expected? If the current disease control measures extended well beyond the second quarter, the impact on the Chinese economy and the power sector would likely be a lot more severe. Under such a severe impact scenario, GDP growth could decelerate to as low as 4.2%. This compares with our base case outlook previously of the GDP outlook at 5.8%. And this would lead to, in turn, a deceleration in power demand growth to about 3.1%. That compares with our pre-outbreak outlook of 4.1%. This 1% in power demand outlook means that the difference will be roughly 73 terawatt hours. That is roughly equal to the entire annual power demand of the country of Finland. If we used coal to generate this difference of 73 terawatt hours, it would roughly take 30 million tons of thermal coal, roughly equal to one month of Chinese coal imports. If we use natural gas to generate this difference in electricity, that would take roughly 9 million tons of liquefied natural gas, roughly equal to two months worth of Chinese LNG imports. On the power supply side, our analysis shows that power generation volumes, especially from base load generation resources like coal, nuclear, and gas-fired combined heat and power plants, will likely be affected the most, especially with coal-fired power generation. Renewable generation volumes will unlikely be affected significantly because of their non-dispatchability and also preferential status in the Chinese power dispatch system. The only subsector within renewables that could see some impact is the distributed solar PV sector, especially for commercial and industrial customers, because those entities are staying closed during the outbreak. For new plant construction during the year, we believe that conventional generation additions will unlikely be affected too much because of their relatively long lead time for development and the construction. Renewable energy additions will be lower as a result of the suspended manufacturing and construction activities. Some of the impact on renewable additions could also be partially offset by a rebound rest of the year, especially for solar PV. Wind power additions will be more affected because of the relatively tight capacity in wind equipment manufacturing, as well as for the engineering construction process.